A Kubernetes secret is an object which stores sensitive information like passwords and API keys. Secret objects are a safer, more flexible alternative to baking sensitive data directly into images or pods. Here are a few reasons why. When you store sensitive data in a secret object, you don't need to maintain duplicate images, some with development secrets and others with production secrets. That method is messy and mistake prone. Another benefit is that Kubernetes takes extra precautions to safeguard the data stored in secret objects, like avoiding writing sensitive data to disk where possible. Now that you know the rationale for secrets, let me show you how to create and use them. There are two principal ways to create a secret in Kubernetes. You can create a secret from a config file. You can also create a secret from literal values typed in the command line. Here's how you create a secret from a file containing some sensitive data. Create secret is the command. Generic is the subcommand. It indicates that we're creating a secret using a file, folder, or literal value. My secret is the name of the secret object that we're creating. Credentials.txt is a file holding the secret data. The base name of the file becomes the key, while the contents becomes the value. A secret object may contain multiple keys and values, one for each file specified, like this. Here's an example of creating a secret from literal values. In this case, username is the first key and admin is the associated value. Likewise, password is the second key and 1234 is the associated value. Generic secrets are not the only kind of secrets that you can create. You can also create a secret to hold a TLS certificate in private key. Check it out. Now the subcommand is TLS. The name of the secret is my TLS secret. Then you specify the certificate file and the private key file. Easy peasy. You can also create a secret object from a config file, but it's a little bit more involved than you would think. Let's say that you want to create a secret which holds the data username equals admin and password equals 1234. We're going to start out with the following config file. This is your basic secret config file template. We need to fill the keys and values under the data field. The one catch is that secret values must be base64 encoded. So let's echo the username and password into the base64 utility. Note that the dash n option tells the echo command not to print any trailing new line characters. Okay, now we can add the two key value pairs to the config file. You then create the secret like this. Note that new lines are not valid in the base64 encoded strings because they cause problems when the config file is serialized. Therefore, if you're using OS 10, then you should not use the base64-b option to split long lines. And if you're using Linux, then you should use the base64-w0 option to disable line wrapping. 